friends. So, I bet a lot of you are kind of starting to get a little bit bored at home or maybe looking for something new or fun to do and you want to do a puzzle. But all the puzzles in your house, you've already done them. And that's not that exciting anymore. So you wanted to make something new. Well, today I'm going to teach you just how to do that with some really simple tools that you can get right from home. So, the first thing you need is a cereal box. It could be any size, just needs to be something nice, thin cardboard like a cereal box. Alright, so you'll need your cereal box, that's one. Some markers, I've got mine in a little bag here, so it's art supplies. So you'll want some markers, or maybe some crayons, or pencils, um, or even paint if you have it, just something to color or draw with, and a pair of scissors. Now, if you are a little younger, you might need a parent to help you with the scissors part. So you might need slightly bigger scissors to cut through the cardboard. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cereal box and you're gonna cut it. So you're gonna cut one side off your piece for your puzzle but there's still these little flappy ends so you might want to cut those off as well great so now you have the template for your puzzle now you have what your puzzle is going to be made out of now there's two ways you can do it from here you can take this plain side and you can draw all the puzzle shapes right on it and have the front of the cereal box be the image of your puzzle, but you could also draw a picture or whatever of something that you like right on the back and draw your puzzle lines on top of that and then make your puzzle. So let's get drawing. Okay, so now you have your picture, right? So you're all ready to go with your picture. The next step that we're going to do, once you have your picture, is we're going to draw the puzzle piece lines. So you can draw those um, either on the back side if you want, but you have to make sure you have a marker that can draw on this kind of more slick surface. Otherwise, you'll want to draw them right here on your picture, um, and that's okay too. All right, so now you've got your puzzle all drawn. It doesn't matter what your pieces look like, they can be whatever shapes you like, as long as they can all fit into each other at the end. All right, so this is the part where you might wanna get an adult if you need one. So you're gonna get your scissors again, and you're gonna cut out all of your individual puzzle shapes. So if you've made them real curvy like mine, that might be a little bit harder. But you're gonna cut out all of your little pieces all right, and we don't need to show me cutting all of that out. So you're going to cut out all your pieces. Okay, so we'll just cut out one piece just to show you how it's done here. One piece of your puzzle. All cut out. Looks just like a real puzzle piece now. And now you've got a puzzle piece missing from the back. So then you're going to want to cut through your whole puzzle and see what happens. All right, look at that. Your puzzle is all done. So now all you've got to do is start putting it back together. <laughs> 